making his 600th and 47th appearance here on my show. <laughs> he comes a lot. And you know what? He's never worn the same jacket twice. Please welcome comedian George Wallace. Jacket. And that's a beautiful jacket you have on too. You always look good. You you look good. We're almost got on the same thing. Black and black, black shoes and yeah, mine you got is on real, some good shoes. Yours is real leather, leather, huh? Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's, my that's, that's real leather you got on, huh? That's true too. You know what? I, first of all, I want to say something about Dolly Parton now. This is a lady that I'm glad you had on the show. I've admired this lady for a long time. I'm being serious right now. I'm not always funny, okay? <laughs> I'm being serious. This lady I love. I heard, I heard her a uh, few years back that said uh, about her parents, as long as she has a dime, her parents has a nickel. And I always thought that was really great, and I admire her. I just think she's a beautiful lady, and, and I love that lady. She's just one. Yeah. You know, um... That's, that's all very nice, but I'm experiencing a real awkward moment because I know he's going to say something about my no, mama before we get anything. into the meeting interview. And I know you're going to... I'm not going to say anything about your mama. I know you talked about my mama, and, you know, she's at home crying right now because you talked about... It. But Dolly Parton... No, listen, Dolly Parton gave you a medal. I thought that was nice. And uh, I have a little medal I like to give you, too. You can put it around your neck. Yeah, that's your medal. Put it around your neck. That's the real thing, baby. <laughs> Now let me talk about your mama. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. No, no, I'm gonna let you go this time. Because I don't know anything about your mama, because, you know, I... Let's get off each other's mama, okay? Because I just got off yours. Now, let's go on. Hit me. I'm ready for you tonight. <laughs> Will Smith been talking about my... Everywhere I go, you know, you're popular in Rio. I just come in from Rio de Janeiro. Oh, really? And, yes. I didn't, I didn't know they had a yuck yucks in Rio. What were you doing down there? <laughs> I wasn't doing a comedy club. I went what? down with the top black radio stations in America, uh, from uh, Chicago, WGCI, Doug Banks oh, yeah. and Company. Yes, they I all said, say guys. hello to you at yeah. uh, Atlanta, Love 104. E everybody, Lisa Lips and uh, New York, Lisa Lopez, everybody. And uh, <laughs> everybody was asking about you in Rio, and they were doing, they were doing their... Ooh, 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 in Rio, and it was great, and it was, everybody was talking about you and Will Smith talking about my mom. I said, I'm going to let him go, because well, I'm going to let you go. You just got me. Would you like to take a shot at Will? Yeah, I know Will Smith's mama. His mama's glass is so thick when she reads the map, she can see people waving. Yeah, I said. <laughs> That's right, Will Smith. Your mama's so fat, when she go to a buffet, they have to put speed bumps down to slow her ass down. <laughs> You? you know what? <laughs> <laughs> See, when you're from the neighborhood, this is how you grow up, because you don't have hockey equipment. You have to do something that's free, you, you know? And you just sit around talking about each other's mama. But, <laughs> but is that how you got started as a comic? No, I'm different from most black uh, mm -hmm. entertainers. You see... <laughs> You see, most black entertainers, this is a true story, most black entertainers got started in the church. Is this not true? true. You ask Aretha Franklin how she got started. Mm -hmm. She used to travel with her father on the road. Uh, he was a minister. Pointer Sisters, a mm -hmm. pastor of the church in Oakland. Mm -hmm. uh, Sinbad. Even you, your father was a minister, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Not my father. My father was a rotten, low-down, no-good-for-nothing lying thief. <laughs> and that's why I do what I do. <laughs> my father, I, you know what? One time he left us one Sunday and he went to the bakery and we didn't see him till three years later. Hey, come back talking about you wouldn't believe the lie now and there. <laughs> but, but let me tell you something. I make these jokes about my father. My father's a strong disciplinarian. I think that's what the kids need these days. A little pop upside the head every now and then. People don't hit the kids like they used to. I'm not saying child abuse. I'm just saying slap him across the room in the middle of next week, something like that. <laughs> my father was so strong. My father, if you're doing something wrong, my father could walk in the room and he plump that finger. And whatever you're doing, you stop. And wherever that finger goes, that's where you go. Yeah. If that finger went to a chair, your ass went to that chair. <laughs> my father was so strong. I, you know, when we were kids jumping up in the bed trying to touch the ceiling, uh -huh. one time my father walked in, bam! Caught us right in the middle of the air. We couldn't come down. <laughs> we couldn't come down until that finger brought us down. <laughs> but my father's a great man. That's why I got started in show business. I just always wanted to be a comedian. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk politics. Every comedian's talking about politics. Let's see, I... I think the government is wasting our money. I should be in charge of this country, first of all. They're wasting our money. They spent $2 million on a survey on why prisoners escape. 
<laughs> you know what they found out? What? They didn't like Ding that. <laughs> They're wasting, and look at all this money they're spending on uh, Rodney King to see those, these four policemen. Mm -hmm. Hey, I hear he's gonna, he might, he stands a chance to get a hundred million dollars from this case. Really? When I leave here tonight, I'm gonna drive home as fast as I can. Because <laughs> I take a whooping for a hundred million dollars. <laughs> Twice, I'm not lying, my speech might be slurred, but mm, I'll, I'll get along with it. <laughs> your speech, you, can, you know, when you got money, people try to understand what you're saying. <laughs> You walk into a restaurant, you can boom, 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 boom. He wants a table for four. <laughs> so you do that, they're wasting money on that, a Dahmer case? No. China government spending all this money to see whether he's crazy or not. Mm -hmm. If I was in charge of this country, I'd pass a law. I think any time you eat five or more people, <laughs> you are crazy. I just, you know, if nobody got any business eating five or more people, unless it's new kids on the block. You know, they can eat new kids on the block. And did you see Dama, the case they had on the case, this lady was on, this black lady, she says, I hate you, Dama. She called him MFs and everything mm -hmm. like that. And she says, they gave him 930 years. She says, I'll be waiting for you when you come out. <laughs> and I'm gonna wait around myself just to see. <laughs> so uh, yeah, politics are crazy, man. So it's just, just getting out of hand. Yeah, uh, we gotta take a quick commercial, but we got some more time, so okay. no, don't get mad. I'm we not got gonna some more get time. Mad. Okay, we'll be right back with George Wallace. <laughs>